So hey guys, I'm gonna be doing a OF Submit collection tour. I hope you guys are enjoying these like in-depth collection tours as I take bits and pieces of my horses out of my collection to show you guys. Um, this does include Collectas, um, Shalike, and then uh, OF Briar Resin. Um, so these aren't all Sailmates, but uh, this does not include my custom Sailmates. If you want to see my custom Sailmates, then, co uh, then go to my... Um, custom collection tour, which I'll put a link in the description down below. And this does not include my Peter Stones. My Peter Stone Pebbles are in a different video. If you want to see them, go to my Peter Stone collection tour. They will be also in the description below. And comment down below um, what in-depth collection tour do you want to do next. I've done Peter, Peter Stone, flagship uh, flagship collection tour horses, um, stable mates, and customs. So who... who uh, for who you want to see next, comment down below. There's so many other videos I could do. I could do a specific breed. I could do Briarfest. I could do Glossies. Uh, so just comment down below if one of those sound really good. So I'm just going to give you an in-depth collection tour of my silhouettes. Um, I haven't, I've been collecting for about five years now, and I, this is how big my settlement collection has gotten, because I really have fallen out of settlements. Um, I really didn't like them, I really didn't, like, enjoy collecting them, and then I'm really getting back into them. I think they're the most adorable things in the world, and I love them now. So I'm going to start expanding my collection of settlements to get bigger, because this is really all the OFs I have. Um, this is not a lot. So I'm going to expand my settlement collection tour, or my, uh, I'm going to expand my settlements, because I can see of other brands mixed in, and... Stuff like that. So, enough rambling. Um, let's get going into this video. So we're gonna start off with Collecta. Technically, Briar owns Collecta now. So technically, he is a Briar. And this is one of Briar's because it says Briar on his stomach. Um, this is the Collecta Appaloosa. He's the Black Appaloosa Stallion. And this horse is so amazing. I love Collectas. I got him at Briar Fest this past year, 2017. And, like, look at all like his detail and stuff on this horse um i just think this and i've been wanting this horse since i started collecting when i saw collector did these guys i knew he needed to be mine and i found mine this guy at briar fest not very much he does have that flaw but other than that, he's in pretty good condition um if i found a better lsq version of him this one will be customized because like i said he has a quite a bit of flaws but he is still gorgeous and i'm going to try him to show him in april so that is my collecta and it actually came out in 2010 so that's what the site i found for collectas said so there's just a really good look at this um gorgeous boy and i know there's like a brown bay color of this boy and i need that one in my life too so yeah there is this boy and i honestly am in love with this horse right here so that bla that appaloosa was my only um clip it now we're going to move on to something that they call of briar resins um this is an of briar resin he is a tiny resin he is uh, portrayed as the american saddlebred which talks about it on his uh, bottom of his stand and I'll let you guys, if you want to read that, you can pause and read it. But basically, this horse is resin. He is very breakable. He is not made of plastic. And I'm terrified opening this horse because I have bad luck with breakable horses. So, yeah. Um, so he portrays the breed of the American Saddlebred. And I think he does it beautifully. Um, he does. He's doing the high step. He has the cute little blaze going down. And he has three socks. And that shading and fading in the tail is gorgeous. And I picked this guy up, up at Briarfest as well. And new in box. So there is this boy. Okay, no, now it's not going to focus. So, yes. Um, they came out in 2012, um, according to Addy or Briar. So. And Briar has done a whole bunch of these guys. There's like a quarter horse. Um... Arabian, Clydesdale, there's a whole bunch of these guys out there, and they're really beautiful. I don't know that I did one of Totalis, or Totalis, if you want to say his name. So, there is that guy, and I put him in this collection tour because he's tiny, and he's not traditional scale or, or um, classic scale, he's like his own little scale. So, I figured I'd put him in this video for the fun of it. Next up are Shalike. I only own two Shalike, and they're both foals. So, this is a donkey foal that I have, and oh my god, this horse is so cute. Um, yeah. This horse, this donkey, I should say, is so freaking cute. I love her to bits and pieces. So 
So there is this donkey. There's not much to say about the donkey because there's not much you can know about Shalike. Next up is the Shalike Unicorn Full. Um, she is super glittery, super pink, and she has butterflies on her rump. Um, she has blue eyes, and that's gorgeous. I need a new one or get somebody to repair that. But she fell off my shelf and chipped her horn, and she does show when I can show her. So, um, she has glitter in her tail and on her feathering, and she's just overall really cute. Um, yeah. So that is my Shalike unicorn that I freaking love. So now we're going to move on to the fun guys, which is the Sable Mates. Um, these are made by Briar as well, and they're called Sable Mates. And this is the uh, Sable Mate. This is a Sable Mate from the Parade of the Breeds um, 5, I believe is what it's called. Um, and he's from 2008, and he was part of the J J.C. Penny uh, holiday cattle catalog and he's just a really freaking pretty appaloosa reverse dappling gray appaloosa and oh my god and he's on the appaloosa mold which is what it's called there's a lot of appaloosas going on here and this horse is just so cute like look at that little face so and he stands like that and He's probably one of my favorites. He's so freaking cute. Next up is this guy, and he is from the Polka Dot Parade set. Um, he's on the Arabian Arre Rearing Mold, is what it's called. And he came with, like, three other horses that all had Appaloosa spots to them. And he is he is so spotty and speckly, and he is so, so cute. Like, look at that angry face. And he came out in 2012. So, yeah, and he has some shine to him, and he has a lot of spots going on. This this one, um, I hand-picked out from, like, a buyer, because I didn't really want any of the other horses in the set. Um, so I just wanted him, and this guy has, like, so much Appaloosa going on, and it's freaking cute. Um, so there's that guy. And he has some awesome shading, too, in his tail and his mane. There's that. And on the same mold as that, guys, is a super fiery chestnut. Um, this is from the Pride of the Breeds from 2011, and he's also on the Arabian Rearing, and he has that cute little face marking. And then those little socks, and he's just... <laughs> and, um, I saw this horse, and I knew I needed him in my life, and I've been after this horse for quite some time, actually, and I finally picked him up with a set of couple other horses, so... And like I said, he's in the same mold as the last guy. He's just a different color and from a different set and stuff like that. And he's just, like I said, it's like super fiery chestnut. And he has some really spot on shading and I love him so much. Next up is Bandit-ish. This one has a ho uh, OF name. And she is from the Elvis collection. So she is modeled after one of the Elvis's horses. And she has a black, brown or black eye and a blue eye on this side. And she's on the country. Uh... Well, Country and Warm Blood mold. I was supposed to say Welsh Pony. That's a traditional mold. Um, and she is from 2010. And she is so cute. And I've been after this horse forever. Ever since I saw that she came out. And I just, like, freaking loved her. I knew I had to own her one day. And I got her at Briarfest for $5 doing package. So I was like, um, yes, please. And she has four white socks. Yes, it is a she. I don't know if the real horse was a she or not. Um, don't shoot me on that. So, yeah. And she has a little stripe going down her face. She's just really cute, and I love her. <laughs> I'm going to say that about all my horses, because I love them all. And, like, the, the camera does not do her justice, but she has some spot-on shading as well. This is Senior Carrots. He is from the Spirit Blind Bake set. He has glitter on him. Um, He's from the Spirit um, Blind Bake set, which came out last year. And he has eyebrows. Look at those eyebrows. I wish Briar left the eyebrows out. You can see him really good on this side. But, yeah, he's Senior Carrots. I know that... The real donkey or the show donkey has, um, <laughs> he has a uh, eyebrows, but yeah, this is little donkey and his show name is Yin. It is a little joke between me and my friend, for, uh, Shrek for Pedum Stables. So yeah, this is little donkey. There's not much to say about him, but he is so cute and he is so much smaller than all my other horses. Next up, we have this cute little guy. This is from the World of Horses collection and he's a red roan. 
and he's on the Shetland Pony mold, and he came out in 2010, and this horse is, like, this most cutest horse in the world. He has such the fluffiest mane, and he has a little stripe going down his face, and he's just overall so freaking cute. Um, I'm not a huge fan of ponies and stuff, but when I saw this guy in pictures, I knew he had to be mine, so I snatched him up. He came with a couple other horses that I bought as a set. So, yeah, he is so cute. Look at him. So... Not much to say about him, but he is so cute. Now, this is a new face in my collection. I just got this horse yesterday. This is a standard bread stable mate. Um, he is from 1999. He's just a regular run that came out in that year. And he's pretty, he's in super nice condition for being as old he has, ah, as old he is. He has only has that flaw in his butt. But like I said, he's brand new. I got him yesterday. And his horse is so pretty. Um, yes, I love him so much. I'm going to say that about all my horses. So, yeah, better get used to me hearing that. Next up are my only <laughs> OF foals. This is on the standing foal mold. And he is from the mystery foal set. And I honestly do not know where he came from. Um, I just found him under my bed one day. And he is in almost LSQ condition. And he's like a little buckskin pinto. But I don't even remember buying the set. I don't even have the mom and dad anymore. But I have the foal. So, um, yeah, he is super cute. And he is from 2012-2013. He retired in 2013. So that is this little guy. Next up is a foal that I have been after for ages. I saw him when I first started collecting. And I knew he had to be mine. And I finally just got him this past year. This is the Silmate Fun, this is the Silmate Fun Foal from the Five Piece Gift Pack. And his horse is so beautiful. Um, he's a Palomino paint, and he came out in 2007. And he is just, like, an interesting color pattern. And the mold, again, is so stinking cute. So I knew that this horse had to be mine one day. And I picked up an LSQ version of him um, last year. So I do not regret it at all. So... That is him, and I'm so glad I have him in my collection. This is my mini American Pharaoh, which is technically a girl. They did not sculpt male parts on this girl, so this is a girl, so I'm going to call her a girl all through the time I talk about her. Um, She came out in 2015. She's on the mold of Thoroughbred and the color is bay, and like I said, she is to resemble American Pharaoh. Um, so she looks like American Pharaoh. He, she doesn't have the star of the American Pharaoh. The only thing that she does not have is the boy parts to American Pharaoh, so yeah. That's like the only thing about her, but she's very tipsy. This mold is extremely tipsy. But yeah, that is American Pharaoh. Not much to talk about him. Everybody and his brother knows everything about American Pharaoh. He's the triple crown winner, etc., etc. So, yeah. Next up is this. Uh, part of, this is the same set that the Great Appaloosa came from. This is this girl? This is actually a girl. She came out in 2008. She's on the Walking Arabian mold. And Briar on this mold has two different genders. She, they have the mare gender and the stallion gender, uh, or gelding gender. Um, but yeah, when I first got this horse, I thought it was going to be a gelding or a stallion, whatever it is. Nope, it is a, it is a mare. So yeah, and she has ear rubs, so that's okay. Because I really don't show her because I have other Arabians that take her place. But yeah, she is a mare. And she is so cute. And this mold is really wonky, but it's really adorable. So that is her. If I can get her ear rubs fixed up, she might go out in the show ring. But yeah. And there's not much to say about her. She's Sister Grey with some speckling and she's cute. Last but not least is another new horse. This horse came with the Cinder Bread yesterday. And I have been after this horse for ages. I've always wanted this horse since he came out. I think that this pattern is so cute on this mold. And I knew he had to be mine one of these days. And I finally just got him. And so I'm so happy to have him. He is on the Warm Blood Jumper mold, as, as, as Eddie Breyer has called it. And he's from 2006 to 2008. He's just a regular run. But, like, this horse is packed full of detail. So he has, like, tiny hoof striping on his legs. Um, if it will focus on his legs. You can see his tiny hoof striping, and then it's like his pattern, and then his like shading on his legs, mane and tail, and I was just like, ugh, I have wanted this horse for ages now, and I just finally got him. So yeah. So that's all I have for you guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a like and comment down below who is your favorite silmate that I currently own, and I will do an update on one of these guys once I get more silmates. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to comment down below other ideas for me to do with collections because I like doing these 
individual collection tour so you guys can really see in depth my whole entire collection so like i said if you guys enjoyed like comment and subscribe thanks for watching guys bye